Welcome to this new section where we'll talk about freelancing. In this chapter, we'll approach the subject based on my experience and findings throughout the years. I advise you to visit the next lectures a few more times after you've started work. It's one thing to hear about the intense emotional ups and downs, and it's another to live them. As you progress in your work, you'll hit several obstacles described in this section. After experiencing them, you'll better understand my advice. That's why besides covering a lot of down-to-earth concrete tips that will help you, we'll also discuss how to manage your mindset. This is a different approach. Most instructors prefer to stay in the web design realm and give you technique after technique, yet I believe your mentality and your attitude are the deciding factors. That's what makes the difference between a struggling designer and a successful one. I'll also cover seemingly straightforward subjects that are complex. These topics raise a lot of questions regarding how you manage your clients, your work and how everything fits in the grand scheme of things. You'll be surprised to hear about your impact on the design community and how you're possibly committing illegal acts if you aren't careful. Though less hands-on, these lectures will provide a lot of insight into this complicated world of freelancing. That's why I suggest you take it seriously and give it your undivided attention. Let's get started.